You know, just the other day I was walking around the library and I saw somebody that looked exactly like you. <laughs> There's a little bit of a difference today. First of all, introduce yourself. Tell everybody who you are, please. My name is Elizabeth Feinberg. I'm a young adult reference librarian at the Fairland Public Library. But tonight you're dressed a little bit differently and there's probably a reason for that. Why? Uh, well, I'm a cat and it's our annual haunted library which is really exciting. Basically, the whole library, when it's shut down, there's different events going on on every floor, and um, we anticipate a few hundred people. How many, how many times have you done this before? What was it, second, I've done year? it, I've, this is my second. Second year. But okay. it's been done, uh, this is probably the fourth or fifth. What was the catalyst for it? Um, the Teen Advisory Board, actually. Really? A few years ago, we started a Teen Advisory Board, and basically it's a group of teenagers that kind of want to make the library a better place, and they, you know, prepare and help plan this whole event. So you said throughout the whole library, what are some of the things that are going to be going on? And I'll be having some cutaways, well, give us a little hints. Well, um, in the children's room, we're going to have crafts. In our meeting room, we're going to have games, carnival-type games. Oh, wow. On level B, our main floor, we're going to have face painting, level C, haunted bingo, Level D, a dance party and trick or treating, and on our mezzanine we're going to have a scavenger hunt. Haunted bingo. I'm sure yes. there's a trick to that to make it work just the right way, isn't there? <laughs> yes, I'm <laughs> yeah. sure. Now this is some of the activities that go on here, but this is something that I think is kind of unique, different than your normal kind of day, right? Yes. I, yes. I think it's, I mean, you don't really just like this outside of no. Often, huh? <laughs> no. I saw you at the street fair the other day. I thought you looked a little bit different than now, but I like that you should walk around a little bit more. Yeah. Bit. Yeah. Hey. It's a really easy, fun costume. Well, so. basically, Elizabeth, I just want to say, tip of my hat to you, and, and some of the other staff people and volunteers that are helping out with this, too, because it's, it's a great concept for the fellow community to get involved in. And I'm talking to you before it gets started, so you may have a few things to do. I'm going to let you go now, and uh, happy Halloween. Thank you. I'll happy you Halloween. Later. All right, folks, more to come. Don't go away. Now, you don't just like that every day, do you? Well, not usually. Sometimes not, not, not I usually. do, depending. Okay. <laughs> well, folks, we're standing in front of this interesting backdrop here, and there's reasons why this is happening tonight, and I spoke with uh, Elizabeth to find out about it. But I want to speak mm -hmm. with this young lady because there's more things happening. First of all, introduce yourself. Tell everybody who My you are. name is Kate Navs, and I'm the children's librarian, and I've been the children's librarian here at the Fairlawn Library for 18 years. But we want to stop with something that you don't dress like this every day. Again, not usually, this but sometimes I do, right? depending if we have story time and what the theme is. But yes, today is our Haunted Halloween event, which is our favorite event of the whole year. Elizabeth told me it's great and it's a lot of fun. She's still working with it. But there are many things that mm -hmm. happen in the children's area, per yes. se. A, a little feedback on some of those things. Definitely. We have some special events coming up. Um, one of This is our second year. We're going to be hosting a book swap. And for the book swap, you can drop off any books that you're finished with that your children have outgrown. And you can do that the first two weeks of November. November November 1st through 13th. You can check a little reference if you and want to make sure about what else we got on going that on. One. And then when you bring in your book, you get a book book. And you can turn your book you get, book you a, in. A book book? A book book. I want to make sure we get that right. And then you can turn your book books in for real books from November 14th to November 20th. And you can go shopping with your book box in the mm -hmm. meeting room and get fresh new books for your kids to read and keep. You know, when I come to the library from time to time for many reasons, and I'm glad it's still here, of course, mm -hmm. that I see a lot of children's activities. Mm -hmm. And I think that's great. You're feeling about having that as part of the library's function. Mm -hmm. What do you think about I, that? I think it's so important because kids need to read. And I know everyone's all about technology, technology, technology. And technology is important, but you can't access technology if you can't read. This is true, yeah. So we're all about literacy here at the Fairlawn Library. We do story time and book-related programs for kids and ages 0 through 18. There's something for everyone here. Do you enjoy doing what you do? I love doing what I do. Should we say, especially on a night like this? I, I have to tell you, <laughs> I think I have the best job in the entire world, and I work in the best town in the entire world. That's oh, for I'm sure. going to vote for you for everyone for me. <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you, buddy. I know you're getting busy for the night, too. I'll catch up with you later. Uh, okay. Put my hat to you. Thank you. All right, folks, now we're going to venture out and see some of the wonderful activities going on tonight. Don't go Showtime. away. Showtime!